Are you wondering how to create a form in monday.com? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do. And I'm also gonna be sharing some expert tips and recommendations all around form setup and management along the way. So the first thing you need to do is log into your account. And at this point, you need to identify the board that you want to build your form from. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna be doing it from this particular project here. Now, if you don't have a board or a project already, you will need to create one first. So you can do that via the home tab, and then you basically want to press this plus button, and then you can either, either select new project and new board. So that's the first thing you need to do. Once you've done that, and I've done this ahead of time to save us a little bit of time, you then want to open that project or board. And what I like to do, and what I recommend that you do, is if you, if you can picture uh, your form with this particular view. So essentially, and in other words, all of these columns here are going to relate to a question or element on the form. And I'll show you what I mean very, very shortly. So as you can see here, this in this demo, we are looking to receive uh, requests for projects. So for the purpose of the demo, I am a PMO, uh, and we want to receive project requests from different departments or team members. So it makes sense to have columns for when the project will start, its priority, uh, the projected budget, the benefits of the project, etc., etc. So to create the form, and this is how you do it, is navigate to the project or board, and then from the main table here, you want to press this little add view. And if you press it, you then select form. And it will take you to this uh, screen here. At this point, you can change the name of your form. So I could put this as project request form. That's what I'm actually going to do. And that's what I recommend that you do. So if I can spell correctly, project request form. So yeah, name your form accordingly. And at this point, you'll notice, and this goes back to the previous tip, you'll notice that all of those columns that I set up in the main table have automatically pulled through to the form. So it just saves yourself a little bit of, a bit of time. Now, one of the other benefits, if I was to reorder one of these columns here, so as an example, let's just say I wanted files to be, you know, third, third in. If I go back to the form, you'll notice, I don't know if you saw that, that the files has moved. So you can manipulate the form via uh, this particular main table. So if I go back here, you'll notice files has gone to the end. So this is the form created. And at this point, we just need to go through the process of editing it further. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that now. So to do that, you just click on edit form and then it'll open up this interface here. And this is where we can completely manipulate our form and make sure it kind of looks as good as it needs to, uh, has everything we need to capture. And also, you know, we can change what happens when it's submitted, etc. So at this point, we are in the build uh, tab. And from here, we can just go about making some changes to how the form appears if we, if we did want to do it via this view. So we could add a logo here. All you have to do is click the plus button and then just select a file on your uh, desktop or your, your laptop or whatever you're working from. At this point, you can add a form description. So you can say this for, um, please raise, as an example in our demo, please raise requests for projects via this form. You know, just as an example here. And then here are all of the columns that we kind of created in that uh, main table. But what you can also do is you could press this little plus icon and you can create any more uh, elements of data that you want to capture or questions, if you like. So as an example, we could ask for, you know, how many people are going to be working on this project or um, submit your email. So as an example, let me just do that. Uh, please provide, no, actually I'll put email, I'll just put email, but then we could put in the description, uh, please provide an email so we can follow up with you, just as an example. So what you can do is you can add these little descriptions. So if you click on each element, so the name, you can just provide a little bit of context as to what you want the individual to provide. So please provide your name. You know, not the best maybe example, but you get the idea. If you click on each element as well, you can either make it a required uh, field by clicking this little checkbox or not, obviously by uncheck unchecking it. You can also hide the question from view so it doesn't appear on the form itself. And then that way you can retain it in the main table, um, but they may not have to set, submit that information. So that's, that's when that would be particularly useful. And you can also delete it. Now bear in mind that if you do delete 
uh, this particular uh, field, it will remove from the main table. The way the main table and the form work, they work in unison. So you do just have to kind of consider that as you go along. But you can go through this whole process. You can add all of these different uh, columns if you wanted to, known as questions. And once, you, once you're done, you basically just need to, yeah, check it all looks great. And then you just move through the various tabs so you can customize uh, your particular form. So what we can see here is what the individual will see when they open the form. So you could change this as an example. So we've got a welcome screen. You can, um, so at the moment we could have, um, we could literally just put something like project request form. You know. Name, name it so that whoever opens a link knows exactly that they're in the right place uh, for PMO. You could put something like that as an example. You can give a little bit of brief description as well. So I'll just put hello just to show you uh, what that looks like. And then you can also change the button as well. You could say begin, start, or you know next steps, whatever. So that's the first thing that you can do. Then you can do the submission view. This is what the individual is going to see when they open the form. So this is what it looks like on desktop. This is what it looks like on mobile. And at this point, you can hide branding. Um, there's a sub You can have submit at the bottom or you can change that to something else. Then there's this form restrictions. So you can have a recapture challenge if you wanted to, to perhaps reduce some kind of bot spam if that's an issue for you. You can require submitters to log into their monday.com account. You can make the form anonymous. So in this example, it wouldn't be the PMO. It just could be, you know, any, anyone. You could put a close date so that after this date passes, the individual opening the link won't be able to access it anymore. So that can be really useful. And you can also set a response limit. So maybe you've got uh, constraints as to how many projects you can take on. Uh, as an example, you could put, say, 10. So only 10 forms uh, can be submitted each month or something like that. And you could put the response in. At the thank you screen, this will happen once they submit. So once they've gone through all those fields, this is exactly what they're going to see. Uh, you can have, this looks quite good, thank you. Your answers are submitted. So this is a kind of pre-done for us. You can also redirect to a URL. So it could be that they go through to, in this demo, it could be that they go through to a, a, a page which shows all of the submitted projects, or it could be that you take them to an internet site or something like that. It's up to you if you want to redirect them. You can also show the resubmit button or hide the success image. That's also options from this screen. In terms of accessibility, this is just, you can literally set up different languages for your form. Um, and you can also have uh, the logo uh, to have an alt text. So if the logo doesn't display for any reason, this, this text will appear. So as an example, it could be company logo. Then at the bottom, you have the settings. So yeah, these are just a few other things you might want to set up. So uh, include name question in form, include update section, sync questions in column titles. So these are all just different things that you can do. So that's the customize ribbon. Once you're all done, so start with build, then go through customize, then you can share it. So once you're happy with it, this is the link you'll need to send to your stakeholders to start getting submissions. You can shorten the URL if that makes life easier for you. Um, but bear in mind, it doesn't look like a monday.com URL. So just bear that in mind. Anyone who sees that shortened URL may need to a little bit of a, a description as to what it is. You can also quickly share it via so, so social via pressing each one of these. You can also deactivate via this particular uh, button here you'll notice by default forms are public so anyone with a link can access this form so you might want to bear that in mind from this screen you also can access the analyze area and you can basically see the number of people who have submitted through it and you've got a few little statistics here you know a, an amalgamation of few of the few different data points so uh, as an example the budget is kind of be, all be tallied here once we start getting submissions in terms of the automations you can also just make your your whole process much easier via this particular screen so as an example, when a form, this is a little example here. So when a form is submitted, notify all teammates via email or Gmail, Slack. So you get the idea. This is a really, really good way of keeping on top of all your form submissions. It may require you to do, you know, when you start getting submissions, you might need to undertake another piece of work. So this is a really, really good way of setting that up. If you just click explore automate automations, there's a range of different templates that you can leverage out of the box. Uh, there's also, um, you know, you can set these up yourself as well. But this is where you would go towards some automations. You just want to basically go through this and just check what, what you want. So there's a lot that are kind of pre-set up for you. So as an example, when date arrives, notify someone. 
when status changes to something, send an email to someone. And obviously that someone will be whoever you specify. So these are all in here if you wanted to access those as well. Now, is there anything else I need to show you? I don't think there is. Um, the, on this interface, so if I just kind of go back to the main table, once that form is created, it will always appear in this view here. If you did want to delete it and start again for whatever reason, you could click this little drop down and then you could press delete. Um, you can also lock this view to prevent anyone from deleting this as well. And you can also set it as a board default if you wanted to as well. So when people open this up, it will go to this form rather than the main table. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop it down below and I'll get back to you. And with all that said, best of luck with your monday.com forms and I hope you have an excellent day.